come and let's just have church. Welcome to the Glory House Church of Atlanta. This is yours truly, Marcus Reese. And I'm Mike Conwell, the pastor of worship here at the Glory House Church of Atlanta. <laughs> and y'all, we are so glad that you guys have tuned in to the best birthday celebration in the world. This is the conclusion. Oh, it's a birthday. Uh, it's a birthday. What you know? It's a birthday. What you know? It's a birthday. What? Uh, what you know? It's a birthday. What you know? We twenty. What you know? It's a birthday. Wait a minute. We twenty. Mother Rain. Oh Lord. We're so sorry. We love y'all. Listen, we just Thank excited you, to be twenty. We excited to be twenty. I don't think Hallelujah. there's nothing wrong with being excited to be Thank twenty. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We gonna bring it in. <laughs> Listen, y'all, like and share <laughs> this broadcast with as many people as you possibly can. We want everybody to tune in. This is the final night. And we want everybody to get in on this blessing. Amen. It's really about to go down Amen. tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Yes, sir. You still have time to get here. You still. 2856 Belvedere Lane, Decatur, Georgia, 30032. We we'll want save you a seat to for you. We'll save a seat for you. We are socially distancing. Yes. And we are following all the guidelines. So Absolutely. you got time, but you need to come on. You need to come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, that tonight we have a powerful speaker. Tell us who she is. Powerful woman again. of God. The pastor, Angelique Simmons Woo! of the Total Victory Worship Center. Oh Jesus. my God. A powerful woman, woman, woman of God. I got chills. A right great now. speaker, an anointed prayer warrior. Yes. God is going to move yes. in this house tonight and you don't yes, want to miss is. it. If you can't make it, make sure you're liking and sharing this broadcast yes. with everybody. 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 Because everybody has to know about this service tonight. Absolutely. Let's get that algorithm going. Let's get it Let's going. Let's get these comments on here. Let's, Let's get, get, get these hearts. Let's get these cares, cares yeah. these happy faces, crying, crying. You know, worship. Yeah, like we just you worship. All of them. Participate all of them. in Participate, worship. Participate, comment, all of that. Yeah. We want to hear from you. We want to connect with you. Yes. And you can also participate in giving. How can they do that, Brother Marcus? Our ways to give are listed below. We have Cash App, we have PayPal, we have Givelify. Whichever one fits your financial fancies, please, sir, please, ma'am, choose it. Hey, listen, it's our birthday. So a birthday, see, it's a, I know what I like on my birthday. What you I like on your birthday? Money. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like so, money. Listen, and sowing to us. I know I'm sowing the birthday seed. Absolutely. So let's join me in sowing. This is yes. great ground. Yes. Sow your seed today. If you join us in sowing, I promise you, you'll join us in reaping. You sure so will. Join us in the blessing by sowing your seed today. Yes. Also on the bottom of your screen, we'll see a number. Call that number if you desire prayer, yes. if you desire counseling. Yeah. Someone is there. Our prayer counselors are there waiting by the phone to receive yes, they are. your call and to pray with you and for you. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go into worship. I'm ready to go. I think it's time Let's to go. Let's do it. Join us as we go into worship. Amen. Forget about yourself. Concentrate on him and worship him. Worship Christ our Lord. Oh, worship Him. Come on, let's stay right there. Oh, worship, worship Him. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We adore you, Lord. Worship Him for all that He's done. For all that he's doing right now, we worship him. Just for who you are, Lord. You're mighty, you're wonderful, you're awesome. Worship him. We exalt your name, Jesus. We lift you high. Worship him. Everybody, let's
let's get on one accord tonight and worship him the only living god we worship you worship him we live we move we have our being in him we are to worship him christ say christ the lord oh and we exalt thee come on let's lift it up we exalt thee the true and living god we Lift it up. Let's make his praise glorious. We exalt thee. Nobody but you, Lord. We exalt you, Father. We magnify your name. There's nobody greater than you. We exalt thee. Whoa, Lord. Come on, let's just sing it one more time. Say we exalt thee. We lift you high above every situation, high above every concern. We exalt you, Lord. We lift you up, God. We glorify you. We exalt you. We exalt thee, oh Lord. up your praise to him lord we thank you lord we bless you we thank you for your presence here tonight hallelujah we magnify your name we love to worship you we live to worship oh, oh, oh lord hallelujah hallelujah our god is an awesome god he reigns forever. Hallelujah. He's awesome. Let's praise him. Let's give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift it up. Let's lift up and praise. Our God is worthy. How many know he's a miracle worker? He's a healer. He's everything that we need him to be. Hallelujah. Glory, we magnify your name, Jesus. The song says, Water you turned into wine. You opened the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. And into the darkness you shine, yeah. Out of the ashes we rise, there's no one like you, no, none like you. Come on, help me sing if you know it, say. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God, our God. Come on, if you know he's great, come on, put your hands together. Let's celebrate his power, his authority. We celebrate you, God. You are our God. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's say that again. Water you turn into wine. You sing. Water you turn. Come on, sing it out. Open the eyes of the blind. Say, there's none like you. No one like you. There's none like you. Say, none like you. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's none like you. None like you. Say, our God is greater. 
Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, say our God, say it again. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher. He stands alone. He's in a realm all by himself. There's nobody greater. No, I say our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher. Yes, you are. Say our God is a healer. Awesome in power. Say our God. Our God. One more time. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher. Say, our God is healer, awesome in power. Hey, say, our God. Come on, sing this part. Say, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand? Come on, help me sing it. And if our, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is for us, then what can stand against? Say, and if our God, then who could ever? And if our God, then what can stand? And if our God, then who could ever? Hey, and if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Hey, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God, then what can stand? Say, our God is, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are. Come on, you know it. See, our God is healer. Awesome in power. Yay! Say, our God, yay! One more time. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher. Yeah. Say, our God is healer. Awesome in power. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. There's no He's our everything. Hey, that's who you are. That's who you are. Yes, you are my God. That's who you are. That's who you are. Yeah, yeah. Say, our God, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, some in power. Our God, our God. Sing this, say, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great. How great is our God. 
Come on, just sing it one more time. Say, say how great is our God. Everybody sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, see how great, how great is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands and praise him. If you believe that we serve a great God, if we, you believe that we serve an awesome God, if you know it without a shadow of a doubt that our God is mighty, hallelujah. Oh. Wow. Well, God definitely spoke. I told you that he was going to speak. I told you he no, was going to speak. I told you he was going to speak. We told each other. We told each other. There you go. I love you, Marcus. <laughs> I love you too, brother. <laughs> We're better together. Isn't we that are what better says? together. Amen. We are better together. <laughs> Amen. God definitely moved and spoke yes. throughout this entire, amen, anniversary. God, God has one mouth. And he speak. He can speak one thing and speak That's something good. different to every last one of us. That's we good. serve a, a God that has a mouth and speaks. He yeah. has eyes that he sees. Yes. He has ears and he has ears to listen to your problem, to your situation. I love we it. And it seems love. like the perfect opportunity to sow a yeah. seed. Yeah, let's sow into this word. I'm going to sow into the word. I'm sowing. Listen, the giving instructions are on the bottom of your screen. Feel free to sow that seed yes. tonight. Give and it shall be given. Press down, shake it together, together, and running over. God's going to cause men to give into your bosom. Yes, he is. Give that seed. Sow that seed today. Absolutely. And watch God bless you. Watch him work. If you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior tonight, we would love to know about it. So please, sir, please, ma'am, inbox us at the Glory House Church of Atlanta's Facebook page so that we can agree in prayer with you and also so that we can stay connected with you we want to stay connected with you amen call that number on the bottom of your screen there are prayer counselors they are yes. waiting to accept your call if something was said that changed your life something that was said that pricked your heart yeah. and you want to be closer to God or perhaps you just need some wisdom you need some counseling you just need prayer to go yeah. further on in God Absolutely. call that number on the bottom of your screen and our prayer counselors are there waiting to take your call you're not in this alone no you're not in this by yourself we are here for you and we, we want to connect with you two is better than one and two. a threefold cord is not easily broken Listen. so connect with us join with us and remember as always that the glory house church is more, is more than, than a name, name. It's, it's an experience, experience. thank y'all so much for joining us in our birthday celebration woo, 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 we'll woo. see you next week be blessed you. God, we need a word tonight. God, we need a touch tonight. God, we need direction tonight. Don't allow our coming here, God, to be for naught. Oh, God, but cause us to be changed, God, for the better, for our being here. Don't allow us, oh, God, to leave this place the same way we walked in. Oh, God, you have the right of way. We say yes to you. Yes to how you want to move. Yes to how you want to touch. Yes to how you want to speak yes Lord yes Lord and we'll be careful to give your name praise we'll be careful to give your name honor we'll be careful to give your name glory come on all over the building clap your hands and give God your best praise come on you can give God your best praise we're talking about the God of your salvation we're talking about your shield and fortress David said the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous can run therein and find safety there's no other name under heaven by which men can be saved except for the name of the Lord Jesus. For he's been given a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee has got to bow. What you're, what you're facing has got to bow. What you're feeling in your body has got to bow. Hallelujah. We thank God tonight. Clap those hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Truly, we are glad and we're excited to be here. Amen. We're celebrating 20 years. Amen and ministry amen come on you can put your hands together for that 20 years hallelujah god has been truly good to the glory house church of atlanta amen so we do pay homage and respect amen to the set man of this house amen none other than the person of apostle timothy cox come on get, clap your hands and give god praise for him amen we thank god for bishop zade burns in his absence amen and we thank god for our esteemed guest amen pastor simmons tonight come on give god praise for her hallelujah God's woman of faith and power. 
Amen. I'm excited about what God is about to do. But before we move, so, move forward, amen, I stand to receive the Lord's offering tonight. Amen. Our kingdom offering. Those of you that can and will, if you would, please stand with me. Amen. As I sow a $25 seed, you can sow via Cash App. You can sow via PayPal. You can sow via Givelify. Amen. The cash tags are, amen, dollar sign, Glory House ATL. You can also sow dollar sign, Tim Cox Ministries. Our PayPal pay tag is uh, the at sign, Glory House ATL. Amen. And you can find us on Givelify. And here in the sanctuary, amen, you can sow with cash, check, amen, as long as they're saved, sanctified, and filled in the bank. Amen. Amen. And we will take your card today. Amen. So those of you that can and will, stand with me. I know we've gotten a little accustomed of not being in church. Amen. But come around and, and bring, your, bring your offering here. Amen. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Tonight, we thank God for the seeds that were sown. Point towards your seed and tell it to go and grow in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands and water your seat with praise. Amen. Tonight, our pastor is here in the building. We're going to receive him. Amen. To take us further in the service. Let's receive him in Jesus' name as he comes. The windows of heaven are open. The fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy down in my soul since Jesus made everything right. I gave him my old filthy garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. All oh, the windows of heaven are open. The fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy down in my soul since Jesus made everything right. I gave him my old filthy garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. Come on, say it again. All the windows of heaven are open. You're under an open heaven. The fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy down in my soul. Since Jesus made everything right. I gave him my old filthy garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. Well, I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, that's why I'm happy. That's why I'm happy. That's why I'm happy tonight. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. That's why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. Well, the windows of heaven are open. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, that's why I'm happy. That's why I'm happy. That's why I'm happy tonight. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. That's why I'm happy. That's why I'm happy. That's why I'm happy tonight. Well, the windows of heaven are open. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, can nobody do me like Jesus? 
Can't nobody Can't nobody Do me like you He Oh, can't nobody Well, I don't know nobody That can do me Can't nobody Do me like Jesus He well, he picked me up and it turned me around. Pick me up and it turned me around. Pick me up. Turn me around. He healed my Well, he healed my body and it told me to run on. Healed my body and it told me to run on. Heal my body and it's all be to run He One more time Oh, can't nobody Oh, can't nobody Do me like the Lord Can't nobody body do me He Nobody, 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 do me like Jesus, nobody, love me like Jesus, nobody, keep me like Jesus, nobody, touch me like Jesus, nobody, bless me like Jesus, nobody, 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 hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Yeah. He's wonderful. And he's worthy of praise. Somebody shout glory. Yee. From the rising of the sun till the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be prayed. Every time I think I've got to thank him. Yee. Hallelujah, Jesus. My soul honor the Lord tonight. The old song said, my soul looks back and wonders how I got over. I appreciate the Lord for bringing us over. Amen. Into amen a wealthy place i thank god for better i thank god for greater amen i thank god for being in his will tonight can't nobody do me like jesus and can't nobody do me like the lord certainly as i stand tonight i certainly pay tribute and give much respect to uh, first and foremost thank god for our guest pastor angelique simmons who is in the building Amen. I honor the Lord for her. Thank God for my son, Pastor Dontavia Murphy. And uh, honor the Lord. Amen. For those of you that are online tonight, each of you that are online, we celebrate you. I saw you earlier, Mama Rochelle. Grace to you. Grace to you, Christina De La Cruz. Amen. Those of you that are in the Philippines, those of you that are in the UK, God bless you. Those of you that are in Canada, Auntie Mary, you were supposed to be here. I miss you. I love you. It's good to see you, though. Tell everybody we send our love. God bless you to Mara and all of you that are on tonight. Grace and peace be unto you. We celebrate you tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in, Fontella, Priscilla. Each of you that are on, we bless you. Amen. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And we thank God for you. Come on, let's give the Lord another hand clap of praise. Amen. I am extremely excited about, amen, tonight. And I'm so grateful, amen, for what the Lord has done and for what the Lord is doing. Amen. I, I, I am, I'm excited, amen, about your future. Look at somebody and tell them I'm excited about your future. Amen. The Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Your latter, amen, is greater than your former. And I'm excited about your futures for we know the plans that God has for us. Amen. His plans are good and not evil and to bring us to an expected end. Uh, I begin to tear up today. Amen. Just thinking about how good God has been to us in these 20 years. 
Amen. Of course, uh, Pastor Angelique knows that I started pastoring when I was about nine and a half years old. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. <laughs> But I was thinking and just really being a, just just so appreciative in 20 years. I've said it several times this week in 20 years. We've not lost one member, not one person. We've never buried anybody. That is such a blessing. That is such that is such a blessing. We should never, ever take for granted the things that God does. We, people that passed the five years, that 10 years, four years are burying people and not one time in 20 years have we had a funeral that's nobody but God nobody but God and um, I'm so grateful and so thankful I, maybe he knew my heart just can't, couldn't take it right now I just I love my people the people that I shepherd so much I do I love each of you I love you so much and um, one of the reasons why I have Pastor Simmons here tonight is because she was there before the beginning Amen. She was there before the beginning. She was Ezra's, amen. Well, Nana's here now, but she was Ezra's first Nana. They kept Ezra, amen, her and Pastor Simmons like he was their own. And, um, you know, you want people that know you from uh, the beginning, that know your start, that know even before you started. Amen. And tonight, um, having a piece of, having her here is having a piece of him here amen as well and I just celebrate her. I love her so much I'm so godly proud of what the Lord is doing in her life I went over to a total victory for her birthday celebration they had it outdoors and it was a tremendous tremendous service I got to walk the campus and they are doing a tremendous 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 job over there and I celebrate her I do. I celebrate her and I celebrate Total Victory Worship Center in Forest Park. My sister Daisy, amen, uh, has fallen in love with her. She's on all of the prayer uh, prayer um, uh, times, amen, five in the morning. You can find my oldest sister on there tuning in, uh, supporting Pastor Angelique. And I am super excited and humbled that she consented to be with us tonight. Those of you that are on, you're going to be tremendously blessed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do me a favor, be evangelistic. Share the broadcast with everybody that you can share it with. And I'm gonna ask you in the sound booth to certainly share it with Pastor Angelique, share it with Amen Total Victory, Amen, so even her audience can be a part. But I thank God for each of you that are on last night. The Lord visited us in such a great way. Did you not, were you not blessed by Bishop Carrington Morgan? Amen. He was a tremendous blessing. We love you, Bishop. We honor the Lord for you. Amen. Listen. Amen. We are about to receive her as soon as Arian has finished. Amen. The sermonic selection. The next voice you will hear will be that of Lady Amen. Pastor Angelique Simmons. God bless. Precious Jesus. Holy 
this to you I give the praise for you have done so much for me and I will bless your holy name it is to you holy father
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, wherever you are, come on. Just lift up your hands and begin to worship. Come on. If you know he's worthy of the glory, come on. Let's worship. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Let's love on God right here. Hallelujah. You're worthy of the glory. You're worthy of the honor. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's none like you. Hallelujah. We glorify you tonight. Hallelujah. We magnify you tonight, hallelujah. You are our God and we thank you, hallelujah. You are our Lord and we worship you. Come on, open up your mouth and worship. Hallelujah, Jesus, come on. Hallelujah, Jesus, come on. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. We worship you, we worship you. Come on, we worship you, we worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord, you're worthy of the you're praise. Worthy. You're worthy of the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're worthy of the honor. Come on. Hallelujah. There's nobody like our God, and we worship. Come on. There's nobody like him, and we worship him. Come on. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Oh, we worship you. Hallelujah. Your King of Kings, come on. Your Lord of Lords, come on. Your God of Gods, come on. And we magnify your name. And we glorify your name. And we lift you up, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have your way tonight. Hallelujah. We give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands and give God a sanctified praise on tonight. And while you're yet clapping, come on, keep clapping. Come on, put your hands together for this great apostle, Apostle Timothy Cox. Come on, we bless God for you on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank God. Come on, keep on clapping for Bishop Burns. Come on, in his absence. Come on, keep on clapping. Amen. We thank God for Pastor. Come on. Murphy, come on. Come on. Keep on clapping and clap your hands for yourself on tonight. And we thank God for our worship leader. Come on. We give God praise for the anointed vessel. Amen. Come on. One more time. Clap your hands, all ye people. And give God a praise. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I'm excited and honored to be in the house of the Lord with you on tonight those that are tuning in we are so honored to be here on tonight amen and i'm so glad amen that uh, pastor uh, apostle cox called me amen and yes i've been knowing him before time amen i've been at the first service praise the lord I, 20 years ago wow oh time has flown amen amen and we thank god we don't look like Amen. We, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord has kept us. And we say thank you for keeping us. Amen. And I thought about it. I, I met Pastor Cox at age 23. So I've been knowing him for a very, very long time. Amen. Before he, before he got married. Amen. So, amen. Before Ezra, before everything for a glory house amen amen so we give god praise and glory for what he has done and what he is going to do amen we thank god for it um i need you to draw your attention to first samuel the 22nd chapter and we thank god for ezra in his absence amen thank god for him Ezra was my company when I first came to Atlanta. Amen. He, he stayed with me from Monday through Friday. He was my company. And uh, Pastor Simmons tried to steal him. Amen. <laughs> but he was good company for me. And they trying to make me Nana. Praise the Lord. But we thank God. Amen. 
uh, First Samuel, the 22nd chapter. And we thank God for Glory House. And I know um, some of Citadel is on, and we give honor to you guys. And some of them called me today, and I praise God for each and one of them, which each one of you, all the pastors that said they were going to be online. We praise God for you. Thank God for total victory. Some of you are in the house on tonight. God bless you for coming. Amen. First Samuel, the 22nd chapter, going to read verses 1 and 2. When you have it, you can rest on your feet. The word of the Lord reads, I'm coming from the Amplified Version, and the word of the Lord says, So David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and all his father's house heard about it, they went down there to him, everyone who was suffering hardship, and everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discontented gathered to him, and he became captain over them. They were about 400 men with him. May God bless the reading of his word on tonight and may it be accomplished in your life. Just for a brief moment, if you're not scared, you got your mask on, can you just don't breathe on them, just say uh, Pastor Simmons going to talk about tonight, you're not alone in this. Talk to somebody and tell them, say neighbor you're not alone in this. Uh, yes, Lord. Father God, we ask you to sit Angelique down, speak through these lips of clay, bring thought, clarity of thought now. Father, we thank you for moving the deaf ear and the stony heart, Father, and speak a word in the life of a believer here tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's people say amen. You may be seated. Amen. You're not alone in this. You're not alone in this. And so I want to just encourage uh, Glory House uh, that you're not alone and P Apostle Cox that you're not alone in this. Uh, here we find David, I'm believing that we finding David here in this text isolated and feeling alone. Because sometimes when you're pastoring, amen, you, you, you feel alone. You may not tell the people, but sometimes you feel like you're by yourself. But here in this particular text, we find David in the cave of Adullam. And the cave of Adullam takes on its meaning from him being in the, uh, the cave. It means hiding place, a place of retreat, a place of refuge. He feels like his world is caving in on him. Mm -hmm. And David is in the cave alone, hiding from Saul. He's running and hiding from Saul. Adullam has become his hiding place, but not really his refuge. <laughs> yeah, he understands that his true refuge uh, comes from God. He could use the cave as a place of escape from Saul who desires to kill him. <laughs> but his only true refuge was God, not the cave. That's why in the cave he pinned the 57th Psalm. He pinned the 57th Psalm where he writes be merciful to me me. Mm -hmm. Oh God, be merciful to me for my soul trusts in you and the shadow of your wings. I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. This is a season and a time where our souls must take refuge in our God. We are in a time where we see calamity all around us. People are distressed, even depressed and discouraged. Death upon death and COVID-19 and the pandemic and injustice. And we thank God that Glory House haven't seen any deaths. Praise the Lord. And so in other words, David was saying, God, you are 
are my safe place from the enemy and the enemy cannot consume me because of what's on my life I gotta talk to some people because you got to understand that there is something on your life and because there is something on your life we trust that God's going to cover we trust that God's going to protect us from our enemies so David writes so you got to look at when David pins David pins and he writes about his enemies mm -hmm. because he has enemies you got to understand being in ministry you can't be in ministry without any enemies oh, I got to talk real to the real people on tonight and that's why he said you cannot fret because of evil doors uh -huh. because they will soon be cut off it was David that said I, I believe that the Lord is going to prepare a table uh -huh. uh, before me in the presence of my enemies and what David was decreeing and declared my enemies cannot stop me uh, can you decree and let the enemy know tonight uh, you cannot stop me what I'm going through will not be the end of me there is a promise on my life I need somebody to shout and let the devil know tonight there's still a promise on my life there's still a promise that must be fulfilled on my life I just don't like this part that I'm going through ah, God I need you to help me with this part ah, but I believe I'm going to come past this calamity he's just waiting on the wind he was anointed for he's just waiting on when God's going to move him into his timing into his season I need somebody to understand that are here I need you to understand that you're close uh, can you tell somebody you're closer than you ever been before and because he doesn't know when he's on emotional roller coaster uh, sometimes life will have you on a, a roller coaster uh, you have to know yeah uh, everything is happening in the season for a reason and everything in your life happens in the season that it must happen in mm -hmm. uh, you got to know Ecclesiastes tells us there's a season season for everything you just got to find out what season you in uh, so you won't be confused about where you are ask the Lord what season am I in so you won't be devil minded and unstable uh, be not weary uh, in well doing because in season do season somebody shall do season you shall reap if you faint now or you can just act like David David said I would have fainted but I be yet believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living or you can testify to yourself and believe this Romans 8 and 28 and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to purpose hallelujah no matter what the devil is doing to you you got to know you still have purpose I need you to shout to yourself say I still have purpose and God is working out his purpose in my life uh, he's working out my purpose it doesn't matter how old I get he's still working out my purpose somebody shout he's working out my purpose purpose God still had purpose hallelujah on my life somebody say I still got purpose I still got purpose I don't care what's going through the pandemic I still have purpose touch yourself and say I still have purpose ah, don't be like Sarah because Sarah got in trouble because she listened to her circumstance and not her purpose ah, somebody ought to shout I still got purpose she didn't understand God still had purpose left for her to do as long as you're breathing hallelujah as long as you're breathing he's still fulfilling purpose it ain't over God's just got more for you to do he must prepare 
prepare him for what is next hallelujah he's got to prepare him for what is next what is going to take next what is going to take place next in his life there must be preparation a purpose for next I need somebody to know that there's a next coming for me can you shout to somebody and let them know there's a next coming for me ah you want to be anointed one day and jump into your next the next day but each place in your life god was bringing forth purpose even when it didn't look like he was bringing forth purpose he was bringing forth purpose uh, God will pull us in isolation just to let us know that we didn't miss God. Can you talk to somebody even on the line say you didn't miss God. Uh, we did not miss God. We did not miss him. But we must seek him for what's next for our lives. So he drives us to a place so he can have one on one with us. Sometimes he got to put us in a quiet place. Sometimes he got to put us in a place and isolate us so, we can, so he can talk to us to let us know look I still got more for you to do there's another level because the man should to somebody ought to say it's another level coming out of me there's another dimension coming out of me God's just preparing me for next he pulls you to himself so he can draw you closer to him uh-huh so he can sharpen us somebody say sharpen me Lord huh so he can strengthen you somebody ought to shout strengthen me Lord so he we can see clearer vision of what he's doing I don't know about you but I need to see my my vision clearer help me to see clearer vision Lord and so he drives us so we will not get sidetracked but stay on track this is not the season to get sidetracked but this is the season to stay on track I gotta stay on track he gets rid of the noise he gets rid of the destruction that's where some of you are got to have to get rid of the noise I had to get rid of the distractions so I can keep you on track. You have to understand that the enemy desires to kill you, not just because of your future, but because of where God designs to take you. You're not the substitution. You are the solution. I dare you to shout today. Say, I'm the solution. You are the solution to a prometic system that is trying to destroy credibility of our God I dare you to shout tonight I am the solution let the devil know tonight I am the solution why he's messing with you because you are the solution shout I am the solution it's a shift going on in the kingdom and you are a part of the shift he doesn't like you because you are God's replacement for him and he can never get his place back. Satan even knows he can never get his place back. He got too prideful. He got too big headed. And he wanted to take God's glory. And so you're reminding him of what he lost. Lord have mercy. Just like Saul. David reminds him of what he lost. I dare you to shout to the devil. I'm a reminder. Now I understand. Why you keep messing with my worship. Because I am a reminder are you trying to mess up my relationship with my God why because I am a reminder I am a reminder I am what the devil could never be I am a reminder ah, that's a good place to put your hands together and give God a praise and say I'm a reminder I'm a reminder and so God's going to give us the grace to carry out every assignment he has assigned to us He's going to give you the grace to carry out every assignment. You hear me? He's going to give you the grace to carry out every assignment he has assigned to you. You will do it with grace and power power the reason why you can do it is because Jesus replaced what Adam erased he gave us grace to finish the job any finishers on the, in the place today any finishers on the line somebody ought to shout I got the grace to finish I got the grace to do it I've been graced with his power I've been graced with his anointing I've been graced with his wisdom I've been graced to finish 
all the finishes ought to give God praise. Say, I've been graced to finish. Yes, Lord. Uh, he is actually sit, 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 uh, give God praise he is actually a fugitive and it has led him to the cave of Adullam yes Lord he's in a cave hiding and waiting hiding from Saul because he wants to kill him and waiting on his turn uh, and probably this place has made him feel uh, uh, safe but unsafe uh, yes Lord it's like an oxymoron. I'm feeling safe in God, but, but I know that the enemy is after me at the same time. And some things we have experienced, you got to be honest, have driven us into a cave. And some caves you created, God never meant for you to stay there. But you're not going to stay in the cave forever. I kind of talk to somebody to let you know, get ready to come out the cave. Shout with me tonight and say come out of the cave you gotta come out of your cave you can't stay in the cave all the depressed come out of the cave all of the stress come out of the cave it's time for you to come out of the cave just like Elijah when he hides from Jezebel when he when she threatens to kill all of the prophets of God you got to understand it's just a threat you got to go through whatever you got to go through it's just a threat no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper yes Lord hallelujah he shall condemn it hallelujah the enemy doesn't have the power to kill you ah, yes Lord you got to know tonight that there's too much left for you to do I don't believe that is your season to die somebody ought to shout it ain't my season not yet. It ain't my season to die. God's just getting started with you. Shout, come out the cave. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You come to church, but then you go back in the cave. God said, come on out the cave. Isn't it funny? Hallelujah. That some people will celebrate you one day and then want to kill you the very next day. You go from being their hero to their zero. Lord, have mercy. This is the sea, the same man who was praising him for killing Goliath. David was the one that killed Goliath because this was his introduction. Lord have mercy. This was your introduction season. But this is the season for the mission that your anointing supposed to be displayed on. Lord, can I help somebody? This was just his introduction season. Don't confuse your introduction season with the season when the anointing for the new dimension to for the kingship uh, to be placed on your life uh, hallelujah God's got to introduce you uh, hallelujah you got to let the world know who you are uh, now because they lost control of your destiny uh, they want to kill you just because uh, they lost power over you uh, they want you dead uh, some people are mad because uh, they can't control you anymore uh, because guess what you really found out who you were Lord have mercy you really found out who you were in God. They were fine until you discovered God's plan exceeds their plan for you. Who am I talking to? On tonight I have discovered who I am in God. Yes Lord. Hallelujah it's too late devil. It's too late enemies. Hallelujah I need you to know tonight I discovered who I am in God. Oh yes Lord. Ten years ago you could have gotten me back in a corner and called almost made me quit but now you can't make me quit because why I understand who I am and anybody in here understands who you are in God hallelujah let the devil know tonight I understand who I am in God God still got good big plans for me uh, they were fine with you 
until you recognize God had anointed you too. Somebody ought to shout. He anointed me too. <laughs> he anointed to me too. Yes, Lord. God's hand is on my life too. The Bible said he had drove David into a cave. The cave is described as cold and dark and lonely place, but it becomes his place where he finds out who he is in God. The place where it looks like you're going to die, but you ain't going to die. It's going to save you. Yes, 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 it's going to save your life. A place where he cried out to the Lord for help. Sometimes you got to use your cave because when you use your cave and cry out to the Lord, guess what? God said, I'll do two things. I give you direction and understanding. I help you to understand who you are and I give you direction to where you're going. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He said, I'm going to give you direction and understanding. Perhaps David was in need of clarity, looking for God to give him instructions to move. You need God to tell you your next move. God said, you got to ask me for where I'm taking you next. Lord, what is my next move? Don't move until God tells you to move. His life looked like it had turned for the worse. He understood he was in danger but in a place uh, a place at the same time where he understood that God was doing something different in his life. He understood that this was definitely not his end. He was just waiting for these calamities to pass over him. And what you're saying, Pastor Simmons, I need you to understand that this is not a permanent place for you. This is a temporary place. Stop making temporary places permanent. Know why it's becoming uncomfortable because it's temporary. And God says it's time to shift and transition to your next place. That's why you're not comfortable. I and the Joseph's in the place. That's why you can't get in Potiphar's house and stay because I got something more for you to do. God never meant for you to stay there. You were just at a holding pattern until it was safe for your landing. You will be landing soon. Your landing is coming. You are about to land. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I need you to know that you're about to land in the right place. Lord Jesus. Ah, yes, Lord. I need you to know that you're about to land into the right place. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. You are about to land into your right place what you are going through is temporary he understood this he had to understand this because God gave him several opportunities to kill Saul he could have killed Saul a long time ago but he didn't he could have killed him while he was sleeping but David said destroy him not for who can stretch out his hand against the Lord's anointed and be not guiltless learn from David Keep your mouth off of God's anointed. Uh -huh. Keep your mouth off. For where you're going, you can't live with regrets. No regrets in this season. God said you're going to live guilt-free with clean hands. And feel responsible for someone else's demise. Somebody say no regrets, no regrets. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have said that. Uh -huh. I'm going to keep mm -hmm, my mouth shut. I can't be guilty from back. Body. No, no, no. Or murder with my tongue, envy or strife. I got to be guilt free in this season. I got to know I treated people right. Yes, Lord. I got to know I treated them right. I got to know I had clean hands. I didn't gossip. No, no, no. You can gossip by yourself. Some people, you have justifiable reasons for killing them. Uh -huh. You got justifiable, justifiable, justifiable reason, justifiable reasons for killing them. You can and murder them with what you know about them. You know all their dirt. You know all their scandals. Uh, you can actually kill their character. Spread dirt you know about them. But God said don't do it. Lord have mercy. God said don't do it. The Bible said. Let me go. Uh, the Bible said Saul killed his own self. Mm -hmm, and drove his self to suicide.
right. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Uh, you got, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to kill them. Look at somebody say, you ain't got to kill them. Uh, why? Uh, because they're going to kill themselves. I need you to understand. Uh, don't worry about your enemies because your enemies, uh, yes, Lord, they're going to kill themselves. Don't you worry uh, about your Judas. Uh, he will hang himself. Uh, hallelujah. And he'll kill himself with the sword that was meant for David. Uh, Lord, have mercy. They will kill uh, themselves. Uh, when you dig one ditch, you better dig two. Uh, because the one you digging for me just might be for you. It's being reversed. You better ask Haman. It will be reversed. I said, so God has a set time for you to win. Somebody talk to yourself and say, God has a set time for me to win. David was just sitting back waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting. Somebody say, I'm just waiting. He was uh, waiting on God of promise. He was just waiting for God to show up and perform on his behalf. Somebody say, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Sometimes waiting doesn't feel good, but sometimes God has us in a place of waiting because he knows your time is coming up next. Somebody say, my time is next. My time is next. Uh, you're just in a place of waiting and you need to know your time is coming. And that's why Isaiah 40 and 31 would declare, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint I need to talk to some people that's on the line I need to talk to some people that's on the line tonight some people that's in the room I need you to know the eagle is about to come out of you somebody shout the eagle is coming out of me the eagle has a powerful vision hallelujah it can see not up front but far hallelujah you ain't start this ministry uh, by looking at where you started but you looked at where you was going uh, you looked at where you was going to end Lord have mercy uh, Lord have mercy God says uh, you got to have powerful vision uh, you can't see where you're starting but you got to see where you're going to finish David saw himself the next king regardless of the situation uh, he had powerful vision see yourself in where God spoke to you from the beginning tell pastor that I say see yourself see yourself don't let the vision die see yourself David had to become a fearless eagle David knew no matter what where he was going to live it was going to be where God has showed him at the end where God had anointed him first God said I anoint him king and David knew that kingship was coming for him you got to see the vision all the way to the end can you tell the pastor today you got to see the vision all the way say to the end eagles are high flyers they love the storm other birds flee from the storm but eagles will use the winds to fly higher I came to tell somebody use your storm tonight use your storm to rise higher you have to stay high God, yes, Lord, because God wants to take you higher. Don't be like the pigeons. Don't be like the pigeons. They like staying low and on the ground. I hope you don't have a pigeon anointing tonight. So I'm not a pigeon because pigeons just poop all over the place. You can tell where pigeons dwell. They poop is everywhere. They left their results everywhere they go. I don't like walking into pigeon poop. In this season, don't be a pigeon. Be an eagle. Shout to your neighbor say neighbor this is not the season to be a pigeon this is a season to be an eagle shout the eagle is coming out of me and so David was in a particular place in ministry where he probably felt alone but God allowed certain people to help David while he was going through can I talk real good God has a way of showing you that you're not alone the people you least expect will show up for you somebody shout I'm not alone in this and so the first thing the first people that came to him was the people God was sent with the first people that God was sent to you God was send people to assist you say assist you God will send people to assist you God knows you cannot carry this by yourself he knows that you can't carry the ministry by yourself and so he will send people 
uh, to assist you. He know in your personal life uh, that you need people to assist you. Uh, can y'all kill that spirit? Uh, I'm by myself. Uh, I want to stay by myself. Uh, let's kill that spirit. Uh, God told me a long time ago, Pastor, uh, you ain't never been by yourself. You know we say this. Uh, I came in this world uh, by myself uh, and I'm going to leave. I know you didn't. Uh, your mama had to push you out. Uh, hallelujah. You ain't came in this world by yourself and the doctor had to pull you out and you might have some cheerleaders around cheering you out you ain't came in this world by yourself so people need God said I will send people to assist you God knows how to get you there how when you feel like you're by yourself he said I send key people they're sent by God you got to know you're sent by God if you're a member of glory house you got to know you're sent by God they are here to protect you they won't let people kill you everybody is not for you but you also got to know that everybody is not against you and God said I'll send key people that's going to help you in this season he had two key people in particular that helps David to safety God said you need key people in your life the first key person was Jonathan somebody say Jonathan Saul's son who understands what God wants and who he is not afraid to stand up for David he understand you need people to understand what's on your life they will use their voice of influence to stand up for you they will help push God's agenda in your life they will favor you in spite of their connection with the enemy they will give unselfishly to your cause they are not jealous of you they are not envious of you somebody say where's my Jonathan and Jonathan understands the anointing is not on him him but the anointing is on David he understand David is anointed for kingship somebody ought to shout you anointed for this and then he sends him the priest Amalek and gives him bread and he locates the sword that he killed Goliath with I said God why did you give him the sword and why did you give him bread he said number one I gave it to him because guess what I need right people feeding you in this season I don't need everybody in your ear. I don't need nobody in your ear to tell you junk. I need some people in your ear that will push you to your next level. Hallelujah. And then he give him admonition to use against the enemy. Despite the enemy, to what, to what the enemy told you, I still want you to win. I dare you to shout to your pastor. I want you to win. I dare you to shout to yourself. Say, I want to win. They make sure you get what you need. And remove everything that's harmful. Uh, it, that's in your way. Uh, he said, I don't have any common bread. Uh, just holy bread. Uh, be careful what you're eating. Uh, from people who want to feed you. Uh, say, I can't eat common in this season. Uh, I can only eat holy in this season. Uh, be careful who's in your ear game. Uh, be careful who wants to be common with you. Uh, because you got to understand. Uh, you got to respect the level uh, that I am on. I'm not on the same level as you because God's dealing with me on another dimension. Tell somebody not this season. I can't be common. You got to understand what's on my life. I can't laugh and joke because everything is not funny. I got to make sure I pour out on you what God has given me. You got to know the difference between a sergeant and a private. You are private but I'm a sergeant and then you got to understand who's the generals this is individuals that will die for you I'm an individual that will pray for you I have proven that I'm going to be loyal to somebody send me some people that will assist me just when David was feeling alone by himself God sends all of his father's house about 400 men touch your neighbor and say you're not alone in this you can put it in the chat if you want say you're not alone you're not alone in this and so the second people God will send you people to accompany you say I'm not alone in this they came to be with David they came to stand with him I dare you to shout I'm gonna stand I'm gonna stand with you God has 
was people that would stand with you. I dare you to shout. I'm standing with you when the ones who are important leaves you. God will have those who are less important to stand with you. They don't need a title. They don't need a position. All they want to do is serve the ministry. God send me some people that are with me. Your position in my life must match your purpose in my life. You need to get you some people you better get you some friends because your position in my life must match your purpose in my life you don't have to fight for a position in my life when you understand your purpose in my life I came to work my purpose in your life hallelujah everyone in distress that was frustrated with where they had been everyone that was in debt they've been broke long enough and they're sold out they have nothing else to lose God said that's what I'm sending and they want to go where you're going they gave up everything just to be with you everyone discontented they're tired of the enemy and they're ready to win I dare you to shout I'm tired of the enemy and I'm ready to win I'm ready to win with you I can put my gift with your gift, your anointing with my anointing, because I'm ready to win. Shot, I'm ready. I'm ready to win. I don't have my own agenda. I'm on a kingdom agenda. I have kingdom purpose. Hallelujah. When you understand kingdom principles, then guess what you're full of? Kingdom purpose. God will give you kingdom power and I heard the Holy Ghost say I'm going to give them kingdom power kingdom power God said you will manifest the glory it won't just be the glory house but you will manifest the glory get ready for the glory to show up get ready for the glory to show up hallelujah you're gonna see why God anointed you you're gonna see yes Lord as I was sitting in my seat the Lord told me to tell you there's two mantles on your life he said to tell you you got the mantle of your father you ask God where is the anointing and the mantle of my father he said I give you that mantle he said to tell you and I might get in trouble but I ain't scared of none of them I need you to understand out of all the sons of Nathan L. Simmons you are the only one was the most faithful and if anybody gets the mantle because when he was on the road you preach continually when he asked you when he got sick you are the one that preach every Sunday every Sunday night and you didn't ask for a dime God said you ought to cry God where is the mantle of my fathers he said I will bless you I will cause me to come the ones that you least expect God said I'll move you to new dimensions I just came to tell you that God Say, you are not in this alone sending people to assist you to accompany you and the last group of people he said those are truly assigned to you he said I send them to you cause guess what hallelujah they understand that when you go up they're going up I tell you to shout we're going up Shout together. Lord have mercy. I'm getting ready to close. The Bible said they were distressed. God said they were in debt. They were discontented. But God 
God is changing my story. Everybody that comes, God say, I'm going to change their story. Shout, my story is about to change. If we flip the page and go to chapter 23, tell somebody, flip the page. Flip the page. What happens? Their cherry, their story change. I just came to tell you, your story is shout to your neighbor say my story is about to change hallelujah and it blew my mind the bible said once was a man in a cave but god turned him into a brave man a strong army of believers he turned completely their story around i just came to tell you your story is a about say the change touch somebody and say neighbor get ready for my next chapter get ready for my next chapter because when you turn the page it goes and it says they were mighty men mighty men of valor I just came to tell you the pages to my story is changing the pages to my story what you used to read about me you will not read in my future I need you to know I need you to know you ain't in this alone I dare you to give God a praise if you know your story is changing God is writing a new chapter into your book touch your neighbor say a new chapter it's called growth it's called prosperity it's called greater influence it's called overflow it's called mighty mighty and God get ready get ready get ready for what God is gonna do hallelujah 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 my chapter is turning hallelujah yes God hallelujah hallelujah give God a praise give God a praise hallelujah shall we going up 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 there's a difference between Elisha and the rest of the son of the prophet hallelujah he stayed in place to catch the anointing I dare you to say I caught the anointing I caught the anointing I caught it I caught it I caught it while everybody else was looking for it when they was looking they say wait a minute it's barren here but God said you got the sword hallelujah you got the season for what I need in this season somebody ought to give God praise somebody ought to give God praise somebody ought to give God praise hallelujah everybody standing not alone hallelujah yes Lord yamando ko rabaha rabandesha raban seke rosha raban sete rosha kaha raban sete reya shabakata raban se yes Lord hallelujah hallelujah yes Lord hallelujah Jesus somebody say do it say do it Lord 
change my chapter cause the pages to turn toss the pages to turn cause the pages to turn I'm coming out of debt I'm coming out of debt I just heard the Lord I'm gonna bring you out of debt yes Lord I'm gonna change some things I'm gonna shift some things hallelujah everything you desire God said I'll make it so I just heard the Lord say I'll make it so if you believe it tonight give God a praise you won't be discontented anymore you will not be distressed 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 by life I'm talking to the people you will not be distressed everything the devil came to burden you down I hear the Lord say I lift the burden I lift the burden I lift the burden off of you in the name of Jesus I clean up your credit I make it easy I bless the people so the people can make it easy I bless the people so the people can make it easy I bless the people so the people can make it easy for you in ministry your ladder will be greater than your father Yes, Lord, I thank you for getting in this dream. I thank you, Lord, for giving a word that will change the lives of those that come in. I thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You're going to be content. 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 You're going to be content with what God gives you. I hear the Holy Ghost. You're gonna be content. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have your way in the people's eyes. Have your way tonight. In the Cause the glory of the Lord. Cause the glory of the Lord. In the Ashemakarosha. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Get in every garment, every preaching garment. Understand the oil. Your oil. God's got an oil on your life. There's an oil for a prophet. There's an oil for the preacher. There's an oil for the apostle. There's an oil. Don't mess with your oil. Don't mess with your oil. Rabba Katianso. Rabba Katianse. We give you praise. We give you the hey. Rabba Kesha. And we give you glory. Lift up your hands and begin to worship. And say, God, cause fresh oil. Cause area shiver. Cause fresh in the answer. Cause fresh oil. Cause fresh oil. Cause fresh oil. Let it flow tonight. Let it flow in every row. Come on, dear baby. Let the oil flow. Let the oil flow. Let the oil flow. Fall on every seat. Let the oil flow. Fall on the light. Let the oil flow. Let the oil flow. Let the oil flow. Let the oil flow. Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody ask him for the oil. I need the oil. I need the oil. Oh, Rabbi. I need the oil, Rabbi. I need the oil, Jesus. I need the oil. Cause the oil. Oh, Shabbat. I need the oil. Oh, Rabbi. Shabbat. 
Hallelujah. Cause the oil to flow. Hanana manso. Hanaman sokoria. Yaman de sheo. Thank you, Jesus. Rabande. Cause the oil. Cause the oil. Cause the oil. Cause the oil. Hey! Cause the oil to flow. Hallelujah. The oil. Yes, Lord. The oil must flow. Somebody say the oil must flow. In this season. Next season. The oil must flow. Carry on. The oil must flow. Rabba Katishu. I pray that the Lord will cause the fresh oil. Riaban Shekru. Shamande. Raban Sheha Rabaha. That God will saturate you. Saturate your lungs. Yamando Kurabaha. With his oil. Riaman say that another sound will come. Roko Riaba Shabahai. Yes, Lord. A sound. Hallelujah. That will pierce. Every place of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. I pray for fresh oil. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Do it for Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That everything you're trying to do, the God will stamp his anointing on it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ro. Shamande. Shebehai. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hatorabahai. It's going to be a season where he'll bring you to himself. Raban Shokorabaha. And he will talk to you and minister to you like never before. Ro. Shai. Yes, Lord. Ro. Shai. And gift you even greater than what you are right now in the name of Jesus I pray it so yes Lord in the name of it won't be for entertainment but it will be for the anointing in the name of yes Lord we thank God come on put those hands together Somebody shout, anoint me afresh, Lord. I'm leaving. Anoint me afresh, even online. Anoint me afresh. You're not, a, you're not in this alone. You're not in this alone. You may feel like you're alone, but I pray for you that's online now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, I'm Angelia. To God touch you even now. In the name of Jesus. Lift up everything that's been troubling you. We ask God to break it, to destroy it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Shift us in the time. Hallelujah. Shift us. Shift us, Lord. Shift us in Jesus' name. Leslie. Amen. We want to be a blessing to the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hando Rabbi. I pray over every leader of this house. Oh, Shamandaya. That there will be a coming together like never before. Yamando Kosha. For where God want to take you to the next level. In the name of <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Rabban Sekia. In the name of Jesus. Let's get a seed offering in our hands. I heard the Lord said, I need all those that can sow a seed. Some people can stretch themselves. And uh, Rodney, you can get um, my red card, my red debit card. And so a seed, I'm sowing the seed of a hundred. And I need all those that can follow with the seed of a hundred to start sowing. Amen. Let's sow. Tonight I need those online. Amen. Those in the house. Let's sow a seed of a hundred.
come on, let's get a hundred dollars and let's sow tonight. Yes, Lord. You're not alone in this. Tell yourself, I got people to assist me, <laughs> accompany me, and that are assigned to me. I got people that are assigned to me. I got people that are assigned to me. Yes, Lord. Come on, those that are online. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we give you glory. Come on, let's so. Come on, let's so. You got it? Yep. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I so into what I know God's going to do. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for each speaker. Thank God for evangelist Prashana. We give God glory and honor for her. Amen. If she's on the line, we give honor to you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for Bishop Carrington. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's sow. Come on, let's sow tonight. Let's sow. Let's be a blessing to the house. Or if you don't have the hundred, let's get closest to the hundred. But if you don't have the hundred, let's get at least twenty dollars. Everybody give twenty for the twenty years. Everybody online, come on, just stop ringing the cash app. What's the cash app? What's the, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. It's on the screen. Dollar sign Glory House ATL. Come on, let's get us. Hallelujah. We give him praise. We give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, right. Come on. We're sowing tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. We're sowing tonight. Hallelujah. We're sowing tonight. Hallelujah. We're sowing. We're sowing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. We're sowing tonight. Thank you. Rabbi Kashia. Thank you. We thank God for every seed. Because Lord, you give seed to the sower. And I am a sower. Somebody say, I'm a sower. Hallelujah. You give, you, you give seed to the sower. God's going to continue to give you seed as long as you sow. You will, know, you will never go without a seed to give. Amen. Amen. Bless you on tonight. Know that you are not alone in this. God bless you. Put you back into the hands. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Yes Lord. Thank you Jesus. God bless you tonight. Those of you that are sewing, that's right. Let us know you're sewing. I see you, Rose. I see you, Nell. God bless you tonight. I see you, Maxine. Grace to you tonight. All of you that are sewing. Debbie, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Rose. Each of you that are sewing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us know you're sewing. Thank God for you. God bless you. Things turn out to be. I see you. God bless you, Shanita. Bless you, Charlene. As long as you're in control, I know everybody's given their best gift. Bless you, Daisy. Bless you. Seed leaves your hand but never leaves your life. Amen. I want you quickly. 
Everybody in the room, get something in your hand. Those of you that have not given, come quickly. Amen. Keep seed in soil. And trials only come to make you strong. I reckon that the compare can't be compared yeah sing it y'all to the glory in you to the glory in you bless you Cheryl I see you Daisy thank you so much and all things work he's working it out Work together. Yeah. Work together for the good of them. For the good of them. Who love the law. Sing Aaron. He's working it out. Every little thing is working together. He's working it out. I believe, I believe. He's working it out. For my good. I speak the blessing tonight over your seed. Those of you that have sown, I decree and I declare that the seed has left your hand, but it will never leave your life. I speak increase upon you in every area. The window of heaven be opened upon you and pour you out. Amen. The blessing that exceeds abundantly above all that you could ask or even imagine in Jesus name. I decree you find money. I decree you locate money and lo money locates you. I decree that you're a money magnet. Everything you touch prospers and turns to much success in Jesus name. And it is so. And all those that agree shout amen. Amen. God bless you tonight. Come on, give the Lord a great hand clap of praise. Come on, give God a great applause. Come on. Come on. Y'all can do even better than that. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. I know you were blessed tonight. Let's give it up for Pastor Angelique Simmons. And certainly good to see Total Victory. Thank y'all so much for being here. It's good to see you, my brother. It's been years. Amen. But I honor the Lord for you and for each of you that have come Amen. Thank God for you. I celebrate you in Jesus' night. I am certainly encouraged to run on. Amen. And see what the end is going to be. For something good is at the end waiting for me. I love each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Do me a favor. Even at the end of the broadcast, share it again. Amen. Share the broadcast again. Somebody needs to hear this word. Somebody needs to be blessed. Is that Oscar? Oscar Felton? Hey, man, how you doing? It's hard, you know, I, I, it's hard to recognize folk with these masks on and different things. Amen. But it's good to see you. I love you in Jesus name. I love each and every one of you that are online. Bless you, Tanya. I didn't see your grace to you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for sharing. Happy anniversary to you. Glory house. Amen. Thank God for you. We are so blessed and so favored. And I am so 
appreciative to God. What a word and what a move. Amen. I'm going to dismiss you. Because <laughs> you know, <laughs> rest on your feet. Amen. I speak the blessing of the Lord upon you. Upon those of you who are watching and those that are in this room. I hold the blood of Jesus against any demonic delay of your miracle. Against any demonic delay of your blessing. Against any demonic delay of your promise. I thank you right now, Father, that angels are deployed to work for the fulfillment of your word in the lives of your people. I decree and I declare that you cannot be delayed. You cannot be denied. I rebuke premature death. In Jesus' name, I decree that you shall not die, but live and declare the glorious works of the Lord. With long life, does the Lord satisfy you and show you his salvation? I decree and declare that the blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow be upon you in Jesus' name. I speak over your bodies that your blood is cleansed. Your bones are strong. Your flesh is well. Your skin is fine. Every organ, every cell, every muscle, every tissue is restored to the glory of God. Put it in the comment section this evening. I refuse sickness. Say it in this room. I refuse sickness. I refuse sickness. I refuse disease. I refuse poverty. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. And I am blessed in Jesus name. We're moving in two directions. Y'all know what it is. Forward and up. God bless you and good night. Wow. Well, God definitely spoke. I told you that he was going to speak. I told you he no, was going to speak. I told you he was going to speak. We told each other. We told each other. There you go. I love you, Marcus. <laughs> I love you too, brother. <laughs> We're better together. Isn't we that are what I better to together. Amen. We are better together. <laughs> Amen. God definitely moved and spoke yes. throughout this entire amen anniversary god god has one mouth and he speak he can speak one thing and speak something different. well god definitely spoke i told you that he was going to speak i told you he was i told you he was going to speak. we told each other we told each other there you go i love you i love you too brother we're better together we are better together amen better together amen god definitely moved and spoke throughout this entire amen anniversary god god has one mouth and he speak. He can speak one thing and speak That's something good. different to every last one of us. That's we good. serve a, a God that has a mouth and speaks. He yeah. has eyes that he sees. Yes. He has ears and he has ears to listen to your problem, to your situation. I love we it. And it seems love. like the perfect opportunity to sow into yeah. yeah, let's sow into this word. I'm going to sow into the word. I'm sowing. Listen, the giving instructions are on the bottom of your screen. Feel free to sow that seed yes. tonight. Give and it shall be given. Press down, shake it together, together, and running over. God's going to cause men to give into your bosom. Yes, he is. Give that seed. Sow that seed today. Absolutely. And watch God bless you. Watch him work. If you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior tonight, we would love to know about it. So please, sir, please, ma'am, inbox us at the Glory House Church of Atlanta's Facebook page so that we can agree in prayer with you and also so that we can stay connected with you we want to stay connected with you amen call that number on the bottom of your screen there are prayer counselors there are yes. waiting to accept your call if something was said that changed your life something that was said that pricked your heart yeah and you want to be closer to god or perhaps you just need some wisdom you need some counseling you just need prayer to go yeah. further on in god Absolutely. call that number on the bottom of your screen and our prayer counselors are there waiting to take your call you're not in this alone no you're not in this by yourself we are here for you and we, we want to connect with you two is better than one and two. a threefold cord is not easily broken Listen. so connect with us join with us and remember as always that the glory house church is more, is more than, than a name, name. It's, it's an experience, experience. thank y'all so much for joining us in our birthday celebration woo, 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 woo. we'll see you next week be blessed